Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then we shall begin. You've seen end cards like this, where they have the next video, right? And before I was like, oh gosh, going to YouTube and finding my video, and then, okay, where did I produce that on my hard drive, right? And then I pull it into Camtasia, into the clip bin, and I drop it, and I resize it here, and then I got to delete the audio track, and uh you know what? There's there's a much easier way <laughs> to do that. I'll just tip you guys off right now. So here's what I do. So you've seen YouTube end cards where it says click here to play the next video. And you know, we kind of like to have the video showing there to entice someone, but you can't have the audio blaring because I usually have a main video here, you know, hey, thanks for watching and you know, talking or whatever. This just kind of rolls video no audio. Oh, and so, oh, click here. Well, that looks kind of cool. There's a lot going on. But like I mentioned before, I'd have to find where I saved my video, pull it into the clip bin, drop it on the timeline, delete the audio track, because there probably is one. Here's an easier way. So now, when I get ready to create a YouTube end card, I thought, well, the way I was doing it was kind of stupid. So I'll go to my YouTube channel. So let's say this is the next video I want to link to and watch. Okay. So what I do is I fire up my Camtasia recorder and I don't record sound. Okay. Don't record the system sound. And I just record this little window. Right. It doesn't have to be full screen. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, like that. I might even scrub through a little bit and find where something interesting is going on, okay? And oh, I think I'll capture that, right? And I just make a little Camtasia recording of it and save it right into the clip bin. Now, I can drop that specific video, boom, on top of here and just resize it. There's no other monkeying around, no finding the file, no downloading it cuz uh just make a quick little recording and the reason that works so nicely is this is kind of small okay and it doesn't have to be 1080p you know in this particular case right here it doesn't have to be high def although you know I'll record it 30 frames a second but I just need this like content oh I would however make sure that I switch in HD here in my settings while I'm viewing it but I don't even go into full screen and it just works nicely because YouTube end cards are great but they're kind of a pain in the butt you know to uh, you know I gotta find this video and it's bad enough once you upload it to YouTube you gotta add all the annotations and stuff so any little thing I can do to make that quicker oh and by the way while I'm here I copy this link copy that right and save it into my project directory why because when I finish this and I upload it to YouTube and I have to go do that annotation then I'll have the link boom and I can just say okay click here to play the next video annotation to a link and I already have it I have my link cool how do we connect the links in the end card uh, you do those with annotations Upload your video to YouTube, and you got this deal right here called annotations. And I'm not going to get into it. There's all kinds of tutorials on how to do this. So here, let me pause that. Here I have an annotation that starts where my end card begins. And the first one here is I use spotlight annotations, and it says whatever's in this box link to this video. You can link anywhere you want on YouTube and if you are a partner level you can link to an external site if you have it configured. So that's that annotation and then this one is around the subscribe button and it also is a link but you select subscribe. Lots of tutorials on how to do this. No big deal. Just do a YouTube search for annotations and you'll be good to go. But you got to have the content in the video.
that you upload. All right, that is all I got for today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.